Hey there folks, another squash video weekly recap coming up right now. Get ready. We have three stories we're going to show you today and a preview of an upcoming podcast. So first stop today, we go to Columbia, where we have Amanda Sobey, Olivia Blatchford, and Nicole David lighting up the action. Next, we go to Philadelphia for the SL Green Championships as well as the U.S. Masters Championships. Last up, we go to London, where a professional squash player did something I'm not sure I've seen anyone else do yet, but it's inspiring. So we joined the action in Colombia, where Olivia Blatchford kept her momentum going for upsetting higher seeds with another career record win over Ani Oh of oh. Hong Kong, the world number 12. That win helped propel Blatchford into the semifinals against Amanda Sobey, which made it a rematch of the Americans from the recent Windy City Open. Sobey was up to love with match ball in the third when disaster struck. Sobey was carried off by medical personnel and later oh, diagnosed back, with a snapped Achilles. Better. What we are going to see is we are going to see... This pushed Blatchford through to the finals to face former world number one, Nicole David She's from Malaysia. The right shots. There's a, uh, there again is the right shot, finally. And, uh, Both players had to oh, wrestle through rain delay due to Absolutely. weather conditions. Favorite all Nicole oh, David well. bested oh, Blatchford by taking her down yeah. three luck. That ended a 15-month drought for Nicole right David again. on winning a championship Nicole title. David. For full match replays, please go to psasquashtv.com or go to YouTube and search PSA Squash for match highlights. And in Philadelphia for the SL Green Championships, both finalists had breakthrough performances to reach the finals. Andrew Douglas, the fourth seed from Bukum, still playing in the junior ranks, defeated Todd Harity in the semis. Chris Hansen defeated Christopher Gordon in five-game battle to reach the finals. Here we join in on match ball. Can everyone just have a big round of applause for our runner-up, Andrew Douglas. U.S. Masters was held in conjunction of the SL Green, with players competing in 14 divisions for national championships. Jay Nelson from New York City in the 75-plus division made it his 30th national championship that he has won. On the women's side, Hope Prokop, also a Harvard alum, made it her 10th title at the national level. For a full list of all the results, please go to usquash.com under national championships. I can't even imagine what uh, the Mallet family are going through, you know. I, I... And over in England, we check in with the Canary Wharf, where not only did Nick Matthew, former world number one, win his sixth title at this event, but he donated his entire prize money to a cause that's nearer to his heart. They want loads of sort of thanks for that, you know. I guess the only reason I publicised it was so that more people could maybe be made aware of it. Um, you know, it wasn't for for personal gain of everyone to look at me and say, oh Nick, you're doing a great thing, you know, it was, if I could have kept it quiet, I would have done, I was advised to, to, to say that I was going to do it because hopefully that will raise awareness and, you know, some other people might follow suit because, you know, someone needs help, he's not alone, you know, I'm being a parent myself, it's just sort of a, a, a cause that's close to me and, um, yeah, you know, young squash playing boy, hopefully got a great future ahead of him in life and in squash and you know, anything that we can do. 
Lastly, here is a preview of the interview on Squash Radio we did with the newly crowned SL Green National Champion, Chris Hansen. Here we jump in with Chris talking about his different approach he used at Nationals. Yeah, you know, I think it's, uh, I think it's um, hard to do, but I finally, finally found a way to, before the match, sit down and relax and zone in on exactly what I wanted to do in the match. And the other thing I did was just repeat to myself how much I just love to compete and how much I love being in the moment, in the game, playing, and how much that really means, like, means a lot more to me than the, like, actual, uh, actually winning. And just by doing that, I convinced myself, you know, I, I get myself to stay in the moment. And so when I go from, from talking to myself like that before the match to, you know, right before the match, talking to Rod about what the tactics are, you know, that those two, the, the, the combination of those two allowed me to just really just stay there. And I think it showed that for the most part, I stuck with my game plan. Um, you know, even, even after the match evened up at, at one all, I still pushed through and, and uh, I mean, I changed one or two little things given uh, Rod's advice, but uh, after that was able to just, you know, continue to focus on, on point by point. Um, it's hard to do. So I was, I honestly, I was, I was pretty happy with myself um, because I've been, I've been uh, known, uh, I've been known, especially, you know, I, mean, I, I know this about myself to have thoughts creep in all the time about what, what a win will do for you. What does it mean if you lose, you know, just overthinking situations. So to quiet all that down um, for this, for this one tournament was, uh, was a big breakthrough for me. Well, and I mean, of all the events where this could happen, I mean, talk about what this, uh, the SL Green Championships means to you. This is, I honestly, this is, this has been a, uh, a dream since I was a young player to, to win this. And so uh, this, this was everything that I have ever worked for, um, not just in the last two months and, and years, but I, that I've stayed in this game for, um, you know, so I, it, it was absolutely surreal on, on Saturday night. And, um, yeah, I, I mean, I think I'm still processing it <laughs> and trying to enjoy it. Um, but I mean, it meant, meant everything to me. And it's, it's funny. It's almost like, uh, it's, it's two things. It's, it's a, so it's like a weight off my shoulders that I finally did it. And it's also an incredible energy booster, um, to make me want to seek a new goal and, and, uh, to, to stay, stay sharp and hungry and, and, and go for more. Um, you know, it kind of has, especially after last year, re-energized my, uh, my, uh, love and, and passion for, for squash.